Hi Trader, Tina once again from shortmetina.com with my usual daily recap. Uh, if this is your first time tuning in, your very first time listening to our channel, uh, do me a solid and just drop us a comment. Let us know your name, how you found our channel, and just let us know where you're struggling with uh, trading. Don't be ashamed. Again, we share not only our triumphs, but we also share our struggles. Uh, if you're recurring, you know I'm going to say thank you. You are our lifeline. You are our... Um, you know, you're you're the reason why I do this every single day. So thank you for tuning in. All right, so I have a gazillion things to do. So I'm gonna speed through the video. So try to catch me, right? And if you miss anything, just definitely go back to the videos that we've done before. I generally uh, tend to um, sort of um, uh, reinforce the points that I've made before. So what you're hearing now is not anything really new. I've been more or less uh, parroting or... Um, I've essentially been stating the same message uh, for the past few weeks, if not months. So right now what we're looking at is a daily chart, the S&P 500, the SPY dating back to 2017. The SPY has been in a channel, right? This uh, this blue line denoting support resistance. It's been in a channel since 2017 for about two years, and it's having a hard time, or it's had a hard time for the past two years, penetrating that resistance level of 280 to let's say 282. Now we've definitely gotten in that level, right? Today we closed at 281.04, so that's right in between that resistance level of 280 to 282. But we've have a hard we've had a hard time actually breaking above and sustaining. We've done it before, right? We could see it here. We've seen it here, and most recently for a day or two, we've managed to get above that 280 mark, uh, going as high as at 1.283, even at 285, but we're just having a hard time uh, really sustaining that move, and so I implored everyone to not necessarily focus on the daily fluctuation on the markets, although I do daily videos, but look at the bigger picture. What, you know, uh, pay attention to how the market closes on a weekly basis, on a monthly basis. That way it's easier for you to tune out the noise. So sitting here at 281.04, what I'm concerned with essentially is how the SPY closes for the month of, uh, I was going to say August, I don't know why. Uh, I'm focusing on how the SPY closes for the month of March and how we're going to open in April. What else do we have? IWM, similar story uh, for the most part range. Paying attention to resistance, we can say that clock's in at around 158 to 160. Uh, we're sitting here at 151.86, so we're a bit away from resistance. Uh, the further we drift, obviously, the likelihood of us breaking the support level of 144 uh, to 145 increases, but we're kind of stuck in the middle of that range. So for now, I'm just kind of waiting and seeing how we end March, how we begin April. Uh, I doubt that we're going to penetrate uh, 158 to 160, so that doesn't bode well. But again, we don't know. Let's see how the month finishes. Let's see how April begins, and then we can fine tune based on that. What else do we have? And then we have ticker NIO daily chart dating back to when the stock IPO'd. We had this gap up here, uh, and then we had this gap down. We were uh, we were actually stopped out of this trade on two separate occasions. We tried to buy here, didn't work out. We bought here, didn't work out. Uh, and so I said to myself, well, and the members, let's let this stock more or less settle. Sitting here at four ninety eight. Clearly, the chart seems uh, technically broken right now. It does not mean that it won't be a decent long at some point, but stocks making new 52-week lows uh, is not necessarily the best stocks to buy. So keeping ticker NIO on my watch list, staying away from now, the stock, staying away from now, staying away for now, the stock needs to settle. What else? All right, and then we have ticker EVOP, daily chart dating back to September of 2018. A premium member uh, winning trade, we got into this stock around 20 or 21, sitting here at 29.03. Nice move, clear uptrend. I did a video yesterday and I said stock looked like it was prime and ready to break out. Stock broke out, decent volume up, uh, up again, a little over 3%. So right now it's all about sustainability. I wouldn't chase here, but I do like EVOP longer term, a stock that has 40, in my opinion, written all over it, which would be like the 20th, maybe even 30th double that we've uh, called since since starting Short Me Tina uh, back in uh, 2016. So 
Definitely like EVOP, put it on your watch list. What else do we have? And then we have Mankind, uh, daily chart dating back to September. Uh, so if you are curious as to why I keep talking about Mankind and my take, if you want more color, definitely go listen to more of our videos. Uh, you can just listen to the video I did yesterday. I explained a little bit more in detail uh, about Ticker Mankind. So for, for those that have been paying attention and following along, we've managed to remain above two. I don't like the candle today, so tomorrow definitely pay attention to 196. If we break that, the story might, uh, that might be the end of the story. But sitting here with two, it's managed to remain uh, at least at that breakout point. Um, so yeah, keep mankind on your radar. I'm not ready to throw this uh, stock away uh, or take it out of my watch list as of yet. What else? And we're gonna, we're gonna call it quits, uh, after ticker ACB. We're gonna call it a wrap with this. So ACB daily chart dating back to October of 2018, another stock that's, uh, traded within a range. You guys know I love my channels. I love my range. Stock broke out most recently. Uh, it's off a little, uh, less than 1% on the day, closed at 916. I wouldn't buy it here again, waiting for it to come back down. We're actually looking to get into this trade in the premium member community. So put it on your radar, put it on your watch list ACB. I think we have a winner on our hands, obviously at the right price sitting here at 916. It's a little bit too rich for my blood. So we're going to cap it there. Tina, once again, from shortmetina.com. If you enjoyed any portion of any of these videos, I would like for you to do three things for me. One, comment in the comment section. Do you agree with my analysis? Disagree with my analysis? Are you in any of these trades? Are you long, short, losing money, making money? Just let me know. Let's engage. Let's have a conversation. That's the first thing. The second thing is if you want to hear more videos like the one that I did, albeit today was a little bit short, I generally do a little bit more analysis. They're usually at minimum about 10 today. I think I only did six. But if you want to hear more about, um, well, if you would like to hear more analysis like the one you've heard today, then definitely head on over to our YouTube channel at Short Me Tina. Hit that subscribe button. Turn on notifications. I do videos Monday, Tuesday, Wednesday, Thursday, Friday. If you are subscribed and your notifications are on, every time I upload a video, you will be notified. And lastly, if you want more value, I've been trading north of two, day, two decades, then head on over to shortmetina.com. Sign up. Be a member. Thank you for listening.